Going into this shooting, I feel pretty confident, but I forgot my contact lenses, which means that I'm pretty much blind. The client might open the door, and I might still not recognize them because I might not even be able to see them. <laughs> but we'll hope for the best. All that matters is that the visions are 20-20. Hi. Oh my god. Hi. It's so good to meet you. How are you? It's so nice to meet you. It's good to meet you too. Yes. My name is Jim Parsons, and I'm from Big Bang Theory. I'm like so happy that you're here. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> I'm a big fan of his, and in general, just excited to be around him and all of his talents. <laughs> and it felt actually like it was something I was supposed to do. So here I am. So wonderful. I'm to thrilled to meet you. Oh, I know we follow each other on Instagram. Yes. So I'm always liking your stuff. I am a huge fan of yours as well. Thank I you. really am. And I've seen every episode, I believe. I've read the book. So it's really sweet. good. It's Thank such you. a fun read. So sweet. I wanted to do this for a long time with you, and we were very close a while ago. Right. And within a couple of days of canceling it, the house was basically swarmed by hummingbirds and um, dragonflies. Wow. To the point of coming up to windows and hovering and looking in. And wow. we were kind of a little pleasantly freaked. And it was like, they're like, we came. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> this was on the schedule. We had things to talk about. Right. Who knows? Oh, well, I'm excited today to see whatever comes Me in too. and what happens to come through. Me um, too. Now, I actually know that your dad has passed mm -hmm. in a vehicular accident, mm -hmm. correct? So I am aware of that. Um, have you ever had a reading? Yeah. I was cheating on you. I apologize. Right. It's okay. okay. It's all right. You're here now. Um, you've seen the show. It does help that you have brought objects, which is I great. I have. What I'll do now is I'll just kind of meditate a little. Okay. I'll do some scribbling. Okay. We'll see whatever comes in. So I'll hold on to those in a little bit. I'm just going to sure, see take your time. what's coming in. So let's see there. There's at least three people um, they're having me bring up, but I'm gonna figure out where we're going. They're having me talk about dad now a little bit. Mm -hmm. and, and when he comes through, um, he is having me reference to his passing, mm -hmm. and he is having me talk about wanting anyone to let go of this idea that there could have been a medical response any faster. Okay. He puts a big red X through this, and it's okay. like, it wouldn't have made a difference how okay. quickly there was a response. I, unfortunately, was going to pass away anyway. Okay. And that's pretty important. Yeah. Um, I feel like there wasn't a very, in fact, I, I'm, I'm sure there wasn't because like it was a, sort of a backwoodsy-ish type area of Texas, and, uh, and so somebody came upon him. And so it's just been, a, it was a solo crash, too. He was alone, he was the only car. But no, there was no other party. Yeah, so it's just his way of acknowledging that it wouldn't have mattered. Yeah, Got nothing it. could have been done. Thank you. All, I'm sure all of us have wondered how it happened, but um, the important thing is to know it was quick and that there was nothing that getting there for anybody could have done. Okay, there's that there. These two, make two together. Okay. Connected to your father. He's having me go to the grandparent level, generationally. Mm -hmm. um, for some reason, they're having me reference to a name. And it sounds something along the lines of like May, or there's some M, I'm seeing M, A, and then like May's e. my grandmother. Oh, perfect. OK, awesome. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> um, she's having me talk about like the aging process. It comes through as her way of just acknowledging not wanting people to be upset by the fact that she she's bringing me to her head. And she's kind yeah. of having me acknowledge like, what I said, yeah. what I, this wasn't matching my personality in some right. capacity. Uh, she wants everyone to know that it was a result of this because she had me acknowledge like receiving care and she wasn't the type in the way this comes across to either want to accept care. Yeah. It's like, I don't want that, I don't want it, I don't want it. Absolutely. And not herself. And Absolutely. That's important. So please. That all makes complete sense. Awesome. And that's important because she didn't want to be difficult. Yeah. I think oftentimes they want to make sure that their legacy that they left behind... Is not that last piece. Exactly. Yeah. I know she became somewhat obstinate by the end, and she was so independent for so long. Yeah. But it makes sense that she might be concerned about that, that how others were left. And everyone who was dealing with her is still here. Right. And I think that that's kind of oriented towards what she's Got trying it. to say. So. Got it. Just good to deliver. Yes, yes. Tyler mentioned my grandmother's was May, which he nailed like that. She was apologizing and saying, I'm sorry for being such a pain in the ass towards the end. But that was the opposite of her. I had a lot of good memories with her, and I don't know. We had a, we had a, we had a good thing going, she and I did. 
the passing. Who has the dual passing? There's two passings that happened like in close proximity to one another. Do you know where that would be? My grandmothers died within a year of each other. Gotcha. So this is both your grandmothers yeah. that passed in within a, within a year. A year. Gotcha. Um, what was her first name? Wilma. Wilma. My Wilma. mother's mother. Yeah. So there's that. Um, now, who is the woman who would have dealt with like the serious lung problem? Because this is like fluid in my lungs, either pneumonia, emphysema, and like there's fluid in my lungs, and I can't make a change. Oh. No, that would have no. Oh! No, I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh no, you're good. I didn't expect this to be so complicated, Tyler. <laughs> it's like okay. a puzzle. It's a okay. puzzle. I'm being point. such a bad client. Oh my god, not at all. Would your mom know? Yeah. Is that fine with you? Yeah, absolutely. Oh no, that's the wrong number. Right. <laughs> this is turning into a doozy, huh? It's all good, we got it. Hello, it's me. Have you finished? Oh, no, I'm in the middle of it, and that's why I'm calling you, because I need to ask you something. Are you OK with that? Sure. OK. We're talking about Grandma Wilma. OK. OK. And hi, <laughs> that's Tyler. Hi, it's me. Oh, hi. hi. So I've been just trying to kind of connect on that side of family, and there's been a lot of information. But there was a lot that was coming through that I think you might be able to know. Sure. So for your mother, do you know if she dealt with any, like, serious breathing issues before she passed in any capacity? Yes, she did. Like, it was time, because she was having congestive heart failure, which makes it... Fluid in the lungs. So she had fluid in her lungs. I know there was trouble breathing. I did the end. Gotcha. And those systems often connect. If someone's dealing with congestive heart failure, typically fluid enters the lungs and that causes problems. So that, that makes sense. She just acknowledged wanting to let this go, wanting people to let this go, to not feel upset about how this went. Um, thank you for clearing that up. I just wanted to make sure we were on that side of family. <laughs> You're welcome. Awesome. I thank you. Love you. Bye. Thank you. It, it helps sometimes to have that more direct line. Yeah, I mean, uh, she was there, obviously, hand in hand with her mother through all of that. I don't know how much I would have remembered. Tyler was very specific with her physicality and what happened or whatever in a way that I had to get confirmation from my mother to know what she was talking about. And it was it was moving to me too that my father seemed to like, he was like, please talk to your grandson, and have your moment. It was just really nice to hear from them. I think today like both grandmothers definitely came through with over. the force, which was yeah. awesome. And I'm glad that we got to talk about your dad, but I'm also glad we got to give them some time. Yeah. To... When I think of them and their impact on me, I do think that combination is essential to who I am. I have a lot in common with both of them. Glad that they were able to pop Yeah, in. me too. <laughs> me too. OK, so I have to tell you, this is the weirdest thing. What? But yeah, why? OK, I've been having predictive dreams I was going to read you. You're Literally, kidding. Not even kidding. That is so When you answer the freaking door, I was like, OK, I'm not even going to tell him here. Why do you think wait. that happened? I mean, obviously, it happened because I'm here. Right. But at the same time, no clue. what did I do in your dream? Well, you were just use your face. It really? Your face. Yeah, literally. I knew that you were sitting in the position of being read. Thank you for being so open. Oh, my goodness. I Are you kidding? It. It's just really it's such a pleasure. Oh, so thank you. Much. This is just an amazing thing. I'm ecstatic that I did this. I wouldn't have guessed that I would feel as peaceful as I do right now. There's something about Tyler in particular his personality coupled with his ability. I'll thank you, you thank you, thank you. Yes, that was amazing. Great time, Jim. Thank you. Good work. Bye. I find myself kind of missing him already now that he's gone. I say, like, oh, come back. Where's Charlie? <laughs> I just want to say hi. Is she, she asleep? Hello. <laughs> I was like, do you just stay out oh here and stay, God, get stoned? Right. What do you do? Oh, hi, hi, I'm Jim. Hello. It's very good to meet you. Oh. Oh. God, he I see you all the time. God, Funny. How was it? it was wonderful. It was so amazing. Thank you. No, wow. thank you. Oh, oh, no, amazing. It's amazing. So, so nice to meet you, too. Oh, awesome. I see you on TV as much as anybody. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yay. I watch all the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Have a, all right. Have a good day. Nice okay. to meet you.